Hey everybody, I'm Steve from Brothers and today I want to talk about our 67 to 72 factory style TAC conversion. Now this is a factory style conversion. Comes with all the pieces you need to do a TAC conversion in your vehicle using your stock dash. Now it's going to come with a replacement housing. This housing has correct paint inside. It's been punched for a TAC so you can bolt a factory TAC in there. The factory TAC that's supplied with the kit looks just like the original. This is offered in a 5000 RPM or an 8,000 RPM version for those of you who are running a higher performance engine. Now it's also going to come with a replacement lens that has your TAC lettering on it as well as the printed circuit board for a TAC housing. The wiring harness is plug and play. This is an original style TAC wiring harness. It uses a booster off the original fuse block as well and uh, pass through the firewall with just one grommet. Now, Installation on this, super simple. Once you get the housing out of the truck, the uh, installation is very simple. And for that, we're going to kick it over to the Motorhead Garage Studio with Sam Amolo and me, and we'll show you exactly how this is done. Last week, we took out this old instrument cluster to tell us some of the options we have and a great way to go. We've got Steve Flanders here from Brothers Truck Parts. Steve, tell us all about this thing. This is pretty nasty. That was nasty. Time's taking its toll on that. Yep. Got some modifications from previous owners. <laughs> what we're going to do today is we're going to put in the uh, TAC conversion that Brothers makes. Uh -huh. uh, we offer a TAC conversion or we offer all the parts to put a stock one back together if you don't want to do TAC. This will give you the housing with the cutout for the TAC, give you a factory style TAC, factory style printed circuit, brand new lens, and uh, we're going to get a brand new bezel in there too to make this all shiny so it goes with the rest of our interior. Okay, first thing we're going to do is what? Take this apart? We're going to have to take that apart. Got a few nuts that retain the uh, printed circuit board to the gauges. And of course, take out all your bulb sockets, then you can lift the old printed circuit board up. Now that we're done with that, we are take these gauges out because we're going to reuse the fuel gauge, speedometer, the uh, temperature gauge, right. oil pressure gauge, and ammeter gauge. Right. We're going to put those back into the new housing. Okay, so once we get all those out, we transfer them to the new housing, and then of course we'll put the new circuit board on. Right. right. And once the housing is all assembled, get all your gauges in, all your bulbs, put all your screws back together, now we're ready to put it onto the bezel. Once we put it back onto the bezel, we're going to drop in the lens, mm -hmm. and I think you mentioned that we should wipe those fingerprints off. Yeah, clean rag, something, you know, you're going to get fingerprints on it, clean it off, Set it down inside, put all the retaining screws on the outside. Absolutely. All right, we've got it all plugged in, and of course, when you do the TAC conversion, it comes with a harness, you pick up power, this goes to your coil, it's long enough, and you even have a factory grommet going through the firewall. That's right. Let's see what we did here, see how it looks. Awesome. Yep, looks fantastic. Boy, that really freshens it up. All right, welcome back. As you can see, that's an easy modification. No problem doing it with simple hand tools. Um, as Sam said, easy to route the wiring. It plugs right into your factory fuse block as well as goes right through your, fact, your uh, firewall. And uh, this is an easy installation. Depending on how long it takes you to get the dash out, which is just one, one plug and a, and a uh, oil pressure line, once you get the dash out, this, this installation is probably going to take you an hour and a half to two hours at the most. Also, depending on how much restoration you do to the uh, other gauges and stuff inside your dash. Anyway, thanks for watching. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.